yeah, uh, we wanted to go back to the roots a little bit and yeah. do a concept record again. Uh, that was pretty clear from the beginning when we started talking about a new CD after Masters of the Multiverse. And then we talked about, okay, which kind of concept, what could we do? And we looked at and listened to other bands and other concept records. And then we figured the alternative history thing hasn't been done much in heavy metal. So let's give it a shot. And the, after that was clear to us, one thing led to another. Uh, with us being a band from Austria, of course, we're going to do Austrian history. And one of the most prominent things in Austrian history is the end of the Habsburg monarchy, the end of the imperial times, and these big figures like Empress Elizabeth, also known as Sissi, or Emperor Franz Joseph. Right. And, but then we uh, put a little twist on it, I would say. Uh, what is alternative history? Uh, well, uh, we are huge fans of video games like Castle, Wol Castle Wolfenstein or films like Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer or Inglorious Bastards. And yeah. Each of those things takes real historic events or historic people and puts them into a new context, into a new story. And we are a power metal band. Magic has to play a role in everything we do. And yeah. so it's the same for this record. Um, the story starts with the Austrian-Hungarian Treaty. And then uh, after that, uh, in real history, Crown Prince Rudolf committed suicide. In our story, he fails to do that and instead falls into a deep depression and or deeper depression and starts to dabble with black magic and dark forces. And then the story of the album takes its course. It ends with a zombie fight, Sissy possessed by a demon, uh, fighting her husband, uh, Emperor Franz Joseph, who is in a cyberpunk mecha suit. Yeah, that can be um, a very uh, big um, video games. <laughs> yeah, it would be a great game. Yeah. It, it, it would be a great movie or production or comic book. Yeah. And um, making uh, something like that, uh, how did they react in Austria? It's because I think uh, Sissy is some, uh, someone who is very, uh, uh, it's an icon. Um, yeah, she is an icon. She's still a huge cult figure around here. And especially Austrians, if I dare say, Austrians look forward to the past. And yeah. we are still fond of the imperial times, although the system with democracy and everything that we have right now is obviously better. But still, there is, it's still in the collective memory somehow. And yeah, as far as I can tell, people reacted astonished at first. And then it's like, that's awesome. That's great. That's only guys like you can think of something like this. It's crazy, but it's awesome. And so, and you uh, changing an, an angel to demon, though, that was... Uh... <laughs> yes, but, well, we still do heavy metal. And yeah. it's always going to be some darkness somewhere. And this is part of the darkness of the album. I mean, the music is very uplifting. It's uh, made to put you into a good mood. But still, there has to be darkness somewhere. And in this case, it's in the story and a little bit in the lyrics.